big films, I think, uh, at least the first one, Passages, Iris Axe. So it will be out, I believe, on movie as well. You know what I was doing last night? No, but whatever it was, you sound very excited. If my party and my husband doesn't want to dance with me. I'll dance with you. So, Gary, do you want to give us a little intro to to that? Uh, yes. So, um, so yeah, so Passages, it's uh, the latest film from American director Ira Sachs. Um, it's set in Paris and it follows a, a filmmaker called Thomas, played by Franz Rogowski, um, who is, um, he's in a, he's in a, he's married to an artist called Martin, who's played by Ben Wishaw, um, a gay married couple. And um, after finishing his latest film, he uh, begins a relationship with a teacher called Agat, which is played by Adele Exarchopoulos. Um, and then what follows is a kind of a, a love triangle, but uh, quite a open and honest one. So it's not like it's not like he's having an affair, and then they they play it along those lines where there's like the big reveal it's kind of just like he, he's very um open and tells his husband straight away that he slept with a woman the night before um and it's kind of about his um his psyche and i guess his relationships his relationship with his husband and then with his um girlfriend and then kind of how how we see the different sides of his personality and then how that how that plays out for the three characters um and yeah find it very, it was a little different to what I was expecting because I think, like I, like I just said, I expected it to be a kind of uh, an affair movie, and uh, I know it's been it's been billed as like the the, the horniest film of the year, mm. and uh, so I was going in there with like I don't know high expectations, um, and it was a film that when I stopped watching when I when I finished it the first time, it kind of felt like I was a little bit underwhelmed by it. But then in the days that have followed, I've still been thinking about it. I think it's one that, that I've been thinking about more and more. And I'll, I guess I'll, I'll watch it again because there's just something. Um, I think it's interesting the fact that it's set in Paris because the director is American. The characters are, so the, the main character is German. His husband's British. And then the, um, his like mistress, if you like, is, uh, is French. Um, but it's set in Paris and it feels the way that um, a French film would feel in terms of the way that it captures these human emotions and the relationships between the characters. So I found out it was interesting that the um, that it's set that it's set in Paris. Um, I found out like a interesting character study. Um, and yeah, what what did you think of it, Amanda? Um, I think it was, as you said, it was an incredible character study. I think, I, I mean, all of these performances were incredible. I would largely say uh, the character Tomas uh, was just so believable that I, you know, the only thing I would say is it made me uncomfortable in quite a few spots, but partially because of the character being sometimes really hard to deal with. Um, I would say sometimes people have said a narcissist, if you will, and, and the way that he treated the two people um, within the love triangle, but uh, really, really beautiful the way everything was shot. I think specifically you mentioned the horniest film of the year. I think some of these scenes that um, are being talked about is largely in the way that it was shot, the way that it sort of rests and allows sort of, you know, these intimate moments to happen and for the acting and all that, you know, that, that to come alive. And it, it's, it's very powerful and also very painful, you know, um, and so I think overall, the film was really good. Writing wise, incredible. And I, I have to say, I have not seen that much of Iris Sachs before, but it makes me want to see quite a lot more. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna echo the the two of you basically. I I thought it was an excellent film, and I think um, Amanda's point about the writing being superb is 
really on point. Um, I think for me, the the strongest part of the film, which is not to imply any of the other parts are weak, just merely I think the standout element is Franz Rogowski, right? He's a an actor that I really, really enjoy the performances of. Um, and I think primarily before this, um, I saw him in... Actually, come think of it, I did. So we're, we're reviewing a Christian Petzold film after this. The way I'm aware of Franz Rogowski is from a Christian Petzold film in uh, in Transit, and I thought he was superb in that. In this, it really shows kind of the man's versatility because it's a completely different performance, and he does play this kind of like very, um, you know, emotionally and sexually open, you know, narcissist is the word for it um you know who basically <laughs> get, kind of seems to think the world revolves revolves around him and this film does and i think it's good this film does and it, it, it makes him a very captivating presence and that is down to that franz Rogowski performance i think the supporting performances so ben wishaw as his husband martin and then adele x arcopolis as agat uh, the woman that he basically he meets her by dancing with her at um, the after party after his film because he's a filmmaker uh, finishes shooting uh, and martin's kind of like too tired and rejects um doing such and that's how they they meet and basically I found the way that everything revolved around Franz Rogowski's characters really, really interesting. I found you could see why people say the hardiest film of the year, but I think what's interesting about it is it's very much in. Um, it, it's not what, as Gary said, it's not this kind of like typical kind of like you know a fair film structure. It's a lot more, it's a lot more open and challenging than that. Right, in terms of how these characters are interacting and what they're getting from one another or not getting from one another and what exactly is is going on is is really interesting. It's really domestic in terms of like the scale of the drama here, but the performances are all so good and have such good chemistry. And it's interesting we're talking about a film set in Paris here because I think um you know we we spoke about a film on the show previously where we talked about the fantastic chemistry chemistry between the characters and I think this is another one where a lot of it hinges on that and it comes together in a couple of ways here in terms of a lot of the sex scenes here I think they are really well shot they're done quite differently between the ones which are put between um Franz Rogowski's character and Ben Wishaw's and then between uh, Rogowski's and um, Adele X Arcopolis's. They're done quite differently, but again, it just shows this kind of intense, passionate chemistry, and it really shows kind of like how these people are getting caught up in this, but also how they react differently to it. I think the way that um, Agat interacts with Thomas is very different to this a lot weedier performance from Ben Wishaw. And I think you can kind of imagine Ben Wishaw putting in this sort of performance where like there are these flashes of uh, passion, but it's, he knows who he's dealing with, right? Yeah. And the, the central character, and he's a lot weedier about it. Whereas Agat, uh, the female character, she doesn't. This is kind of new to her in the same way as to Thomas, which is obviously why he's started pursuing this. And I, I find it, I, I thought it was an absolutely fascinating film because you just can't take your eyes off these characters. And I think it's that um, gelling of how it's been shot and the way that these characters have been written is just really captivating. And I couldn't take my eyes off it. I think it's an excellent film. I thought it was absolutely superb. Interesting, just um, just what you're saying there, going back to the, the sex scenes, because I know that there's always like this um, discourse that comes up every so often about sex scenes in films and the, yeah. the necessity of sex scenes in films. And I think without the sex scenes in this, there wouldn't be a film because, mm. and it's not to say that they're done in a gratuitous way, but I think in terms of the character study, just seeing how, like he's like, the way that he has... Like his his mannerisms and his body language with one is uh, is completely different to the other, and that speaks to like the the length of time that he's known them and the and the dynamic between him and his husband, and then with him and the the woman in the in the story. So I think that it's really um really does a great job of like um using the sex scenes as a way to tell the story of this mm. of this narcissist and how 
yeah, he can, seems to kind of like yeah, he can flip flip between one and the other, and he just tries to pick people up and drop them again when he's when he's bored. Um, and yeah, he's like he's not a he's, he's definitely not like a, a likable character, but he's a character that's like captivating, and yeah, you just yeah, it's an interesting scene how it plays out. I really enjoyed this scene where he won't go into like the details, but where he meets um, a gap's family as well. And then that kind of like sees the um, the clash of kind of two sides of his personality kind of coming together in a, in quite a funny way. Um, but then it, it's also, it's, um, yeah, it can, it's very sad moments as well in the film. So yeah, I just think that, um, yeah, it's very well written as you, as you mentioned at the beginning, Amanda. Yeah, and I, I mean, I agree with you. I think I, I think it, it it is in some of those scenes, as you said, the the intimate scenes that that you see this intimacy, you see the character, you know, relationship. You can see the acting, but it's also the way and the time, the pacing of the film. And mm -hmm. I think you brought Absolutely. up the two scenes, um, particularly Gary, that made me think about the fact that I very rarely saw the cameras move or change or or whatnot allowing for the scene to happen and and why then it becomes um more uh cl not claustrophobic but you know what i mean more more apparent um the of the great performance and also more painful you know um as well because it's not a it's not necessarily a totally happy story i also would say the music is really good in it as well um so between the diegetic and non-diegetic soundtrack i think that was really really lovely and how that kind of sort of played within in the film and even with the ending as well so i just it it's really beautiful i mean i also love films good films made in paris so uh we'll <laughs> watch this one again um most definitely and highly recommend you go see it at the Edinburgh International Film Festival this week. Yeah, I, I recommend people go and see it. And I will just mention um, the performance of um, Adele Exarchopoulos. Um, I think she, she's phenomenal in this film and she's on such a great run of films at the moment. She's becoming like one of my one of my favourite actors. And she was really, really great in a film called The Five Devils earlier this year that I think is on the movie. Um, there's some people should check that out. And she did... Um, Quentin Depew's Smoking Coddy's Coffin last month as well. So she's got a she's got a great range and um yeah, she's great in this, as as are all three. Okay, so check out Passages as part of the Edinburgh International Film Festival uh this week. Um and uh we'll we'll move on to the next film. <laughs> 